We are driven by innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, Head of Design Interior at the Volkswagen Design Center, Potsdam, Mr. Romulus Rost. Yes. Hello to everybody. Welcome. It's a Volkswagen place. I would like today to give you a little bit of story of the making of the Tycoon, and I would like to give you a little bit of inside view on the designing, design process, how we do it at Volkswagen, how we start designing a car, and the whole way from the first catch to the finished car. I would like to use a couple of slides. In the beginning, when we are asked to do a car, like we were asked to, to do the Tycoon, it's a very compact SUV. We still start to doing old-fashioned way to do the sketches. All the designers start really with uh, sketching things, trying to look for new themes. And next, please. From the very beginning, we do a lot of small drawings. The most important is to try to find a theme for your design. You have to sell your ideas from the beginning. We also try to have all the line precise in very small doodles. For example, in here you see a theme is to have a shamf around the car. In here we try to do very edgy wheel arches to try to put the power into the sketches. It's very important so that you have all the sketches in the beginning to get all the ideas in. Next, please. Then we start also to put a little bit of color on every sketch. Then you see it helps you to create a character for every sketch. Uh, you can also, with color, put uh, a lot of power into your sketches. And also in here, we, you already can see the different themes. And after a couple of days of sketching, uh, we have a couple of presentations, and all designers are presenting their sketches. And then the chief of design of Volkswagen and the brand uh, head of brand members are choosing one. Next, please. And like, like, like in here, we've been from the very beginning quite, quite, quite near with the sketches to the finished model. You already in here can see the strong themes what we had. The chamfer that goes round to the car, it's already uh, have been for the very big beginning here. We, we try in the sketches also to try to be as precise as possible, to try to sell the idea. The very important thing as a designer is you have to have the ideas, but the most important is you have to be able to sell them, to sell to the members of the board and to, to you have to stay behind your design. Next one, please. Also, we try in the first sketches also to have all the views of the car. We always start with a side view and then a three-quarter view from the front, three-quarter view from the back, so that you see all the lines that go to the car has to, has to match. Every, every line has to explain itself. Next one, please. At the same time, we also start with the interior. Um, every interior designer is looking also about the exterior sketches. We put in here a small doodle on top so that you know for what sort of car you are designing. For the interior, it was also the target to create a very sporty, light, uh, very simple, um, SUV, where everything uh, is intuitive, 
and we wanted to put a lot of color in the interior also to try to attract all the young customers. Next one. Next. Also from the beginning we think of all the details. This is important at Volkswagen that we take care of every single part, the small parts, the big parts, everything has to make sense. In here we thought from the beginning we use a mobile device like an iPhone or Samsung phone to put it into the car and with this device you can um, have your music, uh, your navigation and everything in, in the car to make it as simple as possible. Also an idea from the very beginning was for the air vents to make it as simple as possible and uh, to adjust the temperature and the heat in front of the air vents so that if you make it hotter you feel that hot air is coming out. Next one. Like on the exterior and interior we also try different themes but we've been, you see, from the beginning uh, we had also a very, very straight view in which direction we would like to go. The next one. This was one, one of, of the final sketches in the beginning where you already can see it's almost like the car it is now. We have the device in the middle where you, where you can use your phone as a navigation, as music, as radio, as everything. And you also can see the air vents where you can adjust the temperature. And the theme is also in the interior, we had a strong theme. We have the, the pieces, the plastic pieces painted and inside you have a metal thing. Everything is functional and very precise. Next one, please. After we had the decision for the sketches, for the interior and for exterior, we go immediately into the CAD, computer edit design, and try to put in all this feeling what we had with the sketches. We also try to put them in, into the computer ring. Next one. Uh, you can see it's, uh, every surface is already very near to the car and it's very important to see it and it's possible if you have it 3D on the screen you can turn it and you can see the whole car from, from, from every angle. Next. We also take care of the details. Also in, the, in this phase on CAD we, we put all the love for details exterior and interior. Next, please. You see in the interior also, after the first sketch is very sim sim similar to the sketch, we put everything. We have the special guys. A lot of designers can do them by themselves, the CID. But in the end, you have, next one, you see in here everything, everything is like, like the real thing. The next step is now, if we have this, to try to put a little bit of color on. Next, please. Um, from the beginning, in the sketch, you can do a lot with color. You can do uh, to emphasize the power of the design, to put color on, and, and it gives you the feeling of technical, precise. Next. This is a rendering of the CAD model, so it looks really like a real car, but still this stage, everything is it's only now in computer. We don't have a model yet, but you can see already like the real thing would look in the end. And in here you can also see already the materials and the different um, uh, material uh, changes and the, the, the cut lines and everything is very sharp and you can already see where we would like to have aluminum, where we would like to have plastic and it's already almost like a real interior. Next one. When we decided about this, then we start to make a model full size and we mill this, all the data what we did on the computer, we mill it in clay. 
Next, please. This is basically now a full-size interior milled after the data, and for the first time we see this, how it looks and how it feels. If you are in the car, if everything is at the right position, the ergonomics has to fit, everything has to be where it should be. Next one. And also we can do all the little details, but it still is clay, it's still it's a material where you can still change and make the surfaces different. If you want to change the forms, it's still possible to change it. Next one. Also, we start talking from the beginning about color. We, we also thought with this car, the ideas in the beginning were that the car was blue. And we are talking then with a lot of uh, board members, you see in here Mr. De Silva, head of Volkswagen Design, myself also, and we try also to go outside and look in the real light how the colors are. And we have a lot of samples of the materials and the paint is also very, very important for the whole car. Next one. We mill also a full-size interior for uh, exterior, and we have the specialist who also put, we call it Dynoc. It's a silver foil on the car so that you can see the proportions and you can see how everything works and the lines are okay and, and that the car looks like we in design want to have it. Next one. In the end, we have the presentation at the board members and that it's a car like, like, like it is and everybody is deciding then it's a model. It's a clay model, but it already looks with real wheels and real hard parts, real lights in front, but it's still it's not a see-through, it's a solid model. But you can see immediately now, okay, we maybe we have to do some changes in here makes the line a bit more precise or you still can play with it. Okay, next. The same is with the interior. You saw the clay model before. This is a painted clay model. It's, it's, uh, it looks like the real thing, but it's also made in clay. It's with real paint and with real fabric put on. And we try to show the board members like the real car would look in the end. Next one, please. Also, in this model, it, nothing is working, but you can see also details what we have in the car. Aluminum bits, we have straps out of rubber, so you can put something in, 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 into the door glove box. Everything, all the details, all the switches are look like real but are not real, but you have the feeling that you are in this model like in a real car. So you have the perfect illusion of the car how it should look. Okay? If we uh, are happy with everything, we start to build the car. At Volkswagen, all the show cars, are real cars, are real cars made of metal and we have the special companies who are doing it and we start uh, also milling negative forms and we have the specialists who are uh, making all, this, all these pieces out of metal. This is real metal, this is real metal of the car. We have the guys who are sending the metal pieces, welding them, and put them everything together. Next one. And we also, you see at the end of, of, of the screen the negative forms where, you, where we put the metal on and uh, we try to do a real car. And also, also show cars at Volkswagen are real driving cars with real engines. Of course, you cannot drive like 200 on the autobahn, but you can drive like, like 50, 60, 70 k's with no problem, or even 100 or 150. But it's, it's a real thing with real electrics, real metal, real rubber, 
Next. Next. We have uh, also skies where you see the tooling. It's, here. it's really, it's, it's handmade. This car is handmade, uh, even if it looks like it's only... Um, it's very clean, it's every, every line is running very, very perfect, but in the beginning it was really like, like this, made out of metal, and those guys try to do it as good as possible. Okay, next one, please. We have here a lot of detail shots where you can see that it's, this is a real thing. Next. When we put everything together, then, uh, till then, we have the decision about the color. The car is going into the paint shop, and then it would be painted. And uh, before it goes to the paint shop, um, we try to take care of every line, that every line is it's running really parallel. Everything is very precise. This is the last possibility what you have to do the forms that it's really like design wants to have it. We tried Volkswagen to make all the lines that look very logical. If you follow every line, it's closing itself. Every line makes a sense. All the lines are very precise and very sharp. The wheel arches are very important for us, especially in this car because it's a very small, very robust SUV, and we wanted to make it as strong as possible. Next. Okay, and then in the end, we have uh, the car, the picture of the car, and we are here in India. Okay, thank you. If you have any questions, maybe I will be able to answer them. We, we will have a microphone. Okay. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, the question I want to ask is, uh, initially when the designers are allowed to explore several themes, how is one theme selected out of many? Would you say it a little bit louder? I, I uh, so initially, the designers, when they're sketching a new yeah. concept, so they explore as many themes as possible. There are several themes, like the chamfered and the robust theme you were talking about initially, when the design is conceived. So how is one theme finalized and taken forward? We try in the beginning to find as many themes as possible. Um, the important thing for a good design is you have to have a theme. You have to tell somebody a story. And you have to have the feeling of your heart in the product. And then it's, it's automatically some, somehow. Even it's always the right drawing. It's finding his way to the result. But we have a couple of... Uh, proposals in the beginning and we have a lot of sessions to choose and then in the end uh, always the right thing is chosen. Hello sir. So I have some questions. In the initial concept uh, conceptualizing phase, yeah before that also, how do you generally identify a market segment? Means they like this is small SUV segment has come up new. So how do you I identify that? Uh, Means uh, how do you identify ah, yeah. the new segments? Like and if you have identified through market uh, surveys and all, then how means what is like the procedure to convince the clients also? Means as a designer, I am asking, I'll have to convince the board members. So how do you convince them? Yeah, so how we find new segments? There are two questions. First, yeah. uh, how do you identify a totally new segment? We try to be open-minded. We try to look, uh, to walk through the world with open eyes and look at everything. 
And of course, we are talking to the different markets, and uh, it was obvious that for the market in India, we have to do a small SUV. This is what what uh, not only design, but but the combination of marketing, design, technical guys, what it's able to be created. It's like like we try to find out. And the second question, uh, convincing your own people, like uh, as designers, how do you convince the other board members that yeah, this is really required? Yeah, this design is going. There must be something. Could we have it a little bit louder? I hear it as fast nicht. Okay. So how do you yeah. generally yeah. convince uh, the other your board members or even? Uh, the mark people that the, yeah this is really required in the market so that is one difficulty we generally face convincing people you have to love what you are doing and you have to stand you have to be proud of your design and like i said before you have to tell a story and then you have to convince the people it's like it's not easy so it's 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 Half the way is to have the idea what to do, but even more important is to be able to sell it. So you have to tell, you have to explain why you want this, why it's this car is the best one to be chosen. And we have in the beginning different designers who have different proposals, and who is selling his theme the best is a winner. So it's like always is. A little bit of luck, but you have to know what you are doing. Uh, yeah, I ju I just wanted to know what is the target segment for this car, Tiguan? What is the particular segment? What do you mean? What is the particular uh, segment? Like um, when we talk about uh, hardcore uh, SUVs. It's a polished version. For an SUV, it's a polished SUV. So, which target segment, uh, target segment are we looking at? We wanted to create a very sporty SUV that fits in here, very precise to follow the design language at Volkswagen. It has to be a Volkswagen, uh, inside and outside. And um, we wanted to do very technical but very elegant SUV. I don't know if I understood the question right. Yeah, I'm sure it's, uh, it's really elegant and it's an SUV. But what I am trying to ask is that uh, when we are designing a product or when we are designing a car, for instance, generally we have in mind that this is for this group who will be more interested in buying this car. So, do, do we also come up with that during the storyboard stage? I didn't quite understand. Okay. As customers. Who is the customer of this car? Ah. <laughs> okay, it's easier. Uh, we hope a lot of people. <laughs> so, we try, uh, of course, to find the right customers, uh, we will see how the market would work. We try to do our best to design a real cool car that fits in here. It depends on the price and it depends on, on, on how the wishes of the customers will be. It's a sort of a new proposal for a small SUV in the Volkswagen Group. We will see. Hi. Sir, hi. You uh, started the presentation with a sketch. Yeah. And you finished with this. Could you give us an idea of the time frame between the starting point and the end point? Um, it's about six months. Uh, it's, 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 uh, we need a couple of weeks for the sketching in the beginning. Um, and. Um, before we start, we have this target to do a project. It depends on which market. And um, 
you have always between six and eight or nine months. It's, um, for this project, it was much, much shorter. We've been about six months, I think. Um, you go from the very, when the uh, presentation will be, we need a, about um, three months to build the car and three months for the, all the de de design process to make the sketches, to get the decision for the members of the board, to do the models and, and to present one step after another. But it's uh, between six and eight months. I just have one more question. You mentioned that this automobile was developed for the Indian market. Are there any plans to release it in any other countries? Uh, I cannot really ask, answer these questions. We have to ask the uh, product planner. I don't know yet. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I just wanted to ask, uh, in what stage are the safety features envisioned and incorporated? Because recently, a lot of cars were in the news because a lot of them failed the new car assessment program. So in what step exactly are the safety features thought about or uh, incorporated, if you can... Uh... In the, if you do a show car, all the safety features should be also from the very beginning part of the ideation. So it, uh, the design should already work uh, with all the safety features what they are necessary. So they are from the very beginning into the process because if you d d design something and then you have to change everything it's also not so very good so you have to know it from the beginning and with the experience we have we try to put everything in um, sir i had a question my father manufactures automobile tail lamps so I wanted to know if you want, if you design, a, if you have a design for a tail lamp, how do you uh, give it to design the company? For? Tail lamp, automobile tail lamp, tail lamps, the lights behind, tail yeah. lights. Yeah. I'm talking. So how do you design a tail light? If you have a design for it, how do you present it? Do you have? How can you make a model for it? You mean the like models for the play. design of the lamps? Yeah, the tail lights and the headlights. This is getting in um, now. It's it's a very very important feature of our design at Volkswagen. You have to recognize the cars from the front and from the back, day and at night. Light design is very important. So we try. We have models. We try to find a theme on this car. If 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 you see it at night and the day driving light, this is lighting up. So this is a special thing what you see. So you tell the people that uh, you want a design for the light and then they design it for you? Or is it like they give the design, they look at the car and we then... Have, we have one team, so um, it's very important that everybody is working at the same car. So the team of designers, exterior and interior, are working together, together with the engineers. Everything has to fit this car. So we have the designer who is doing the exterior is doing also the lamps, also small details, they choose a mesh, this al 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 aluminum, all this uh, bit on the grills. We have one guy who is doing the whole thing. We have a team of t designers, but they are all in one place. Wheels, lights, so you use and AutoCAD or you use the models, clay models you have to make or you use AutoCAD and then give the design? We, put, we put in the clay models, we, we mill first like it looks and in so that it fits with the lines. If you look in here, you see that the lines of the grill are really walking in, uh, are driving in, in, into the light. And if we are happy with the form, we build a model and this model is really lighting up. You see, like on the real car. This is also, you have all the lights and it's really, it's lighting. So it's, it's a working model.
हेलो सर वो 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 सर नाउ लॉट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज आर कमिंग फॉर इंडी फॉर ऑटोम ऑटोमोटिव सो हाउ यू आर स्टार्टिंग द इंटीरियर डिजाइन लाइक हाउ हाउ यू आर हाउ यू आर बिगिंग द स्केचिंग एंड ऑल फॉर आई मीन बाई इनकॉपरेटिंग द टेक्नोलॉजीज हाउ वी आर इनकॉपरेटिंग द टेक्नोलॉजीज आई मीन इन द बिगिनिंग यू आर स्टार्टिंग विद स्केचिंग एंड ऑल या सो हाउ यू आर इनकॉपरेटिंग द टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड ऑल आई मीन वॉट इज द आइडिया बिहाइंड दैट how we start with the sketches and then i didn't understand the whole question would you sir everything is allowed um like i said in the beginning is still you try to start sketches you have you have to find your own way to sell your idea basically but we have guys who are not sketching are doing everything on computer we have guys who are only doing sketches and the specialist and doing the things on computer is especially i try to encourage everybody to do what he can the best you have to feel what you are doing sir next question is uh, what kind of uh, cad cad software is using for uh, Yeah, making the CAD model. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, the precise. Which software is using for uh, making CAD? I can model. tell you later. I don't know by heart now. We have the specialist guys who are doing this. This is a detail I can un- answer you later. I don't know now. Thank you. Okay. I have a question. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, while uh, there is a says that uh, uh, design has the two forms like one the aesthetic forms and other will be the engineering aspects so while you go through the designing phase do you really consider the technological and the feasibility fact feasibility factors of the production also or you just sketches or designs the things randomly without considering the engineering aspects that's what i wanted to ask we are considering of course the engineering aspects design a good design is a good combination of good ideas it has to work it's it's a very close work between design engineering all the markets you have to take care of everything if you only make a design of flying things it would not work so a good design has to work so the technical aspects are very important from the very beginning so you have to think you have to have in your mind hi uh, my question was you mentioned earlier that the scar was made for india with keeping in mind the uh, indian people so how does an indian car i mean how do you differentiate a car made for india and for the rest of the world what difference does it have that makes it uh, apt or correct for the indian roads apart from the left hand drive and the right hand drive okay so left hand drive and right hand drive shouldn't be a problem because we are doing also cars for india right now and uh like i mentioned before we try to find out where the new design segment could go and try to find out what sort of car would be good for india we decided to do a compact suv and this is what we did it like this and it is a very difficult question to answer what you are doing specially for foreign market it's it's also some somebody from here would like to buy i think a german car if we only do an indian car so it's 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 a very diff, difficult ques- uh, question what it's uh, we are trying to do a Volkswagen and a Volkswagen should be a Volkswagen even if it's for India or for Brazil or for Europe or for America so Volkswagen is a Volkswagen Hello sir Hello sir Hello sir uh, sorry I'll just want to take few minutes actually I just want to know whether uh, while developing a prototyping for this final product 
uh, what are the constraints to face as an Indian contest? Because we are developing for the Indian market and in this Indian scenarios. So what are the constraints you face for making a, a prototyping develop? I mean prototyping model. Yeah. So what are the con constraints you faced over there? Means you have some constraints while developing for Indian countries or maybe some countries. I just want to know. I um, I, I didn't understand the question because See, uh, can you make it a bit louder, please? No, well, I'm the asking. The prototyping, yeah. I'm just asking what are the constraints you faced while developing a prototype for this final product of this model? Are you uh, hear me exactly? Uh, not really. Uh, not really. So initially, yeah. while making a uh, one model, we have some prototype models. We had this. Yeah. We only have one model. We only did one model. Okay. One prototype model, yeah. and this is this this car. Yeah, I, I accept it. But there will be some constraint behind that. Maybe uh, for making a, a heavily populated country and the road wises. So, in which context you have seen any scenarios that you have developed such kind of model? I mean, the prototyping model. Uh, help me. So, just to rephrase what he's trying yeah. to ask is, what are the challenges that you faced? Uh, while developing this prototype model for India specific uh, conditions, am I right? It's like I said before, we are looking to do show cars and try to do cars for different countries. And uh, yeah, we had the idea to do a compact SUV for the Indian market. I don't know if this is right, it's a question what you ask. And we try to do, like, like I said, a Volkswagen for India. Um, so I'll try to be as clear as possible. Louder. I'll try to be yeah, as yeah. clear as Good. possible. Yeah. How much money was invested, develop, you know, while developing the prototype? I don't know if I can answer this question. A lot of money. <laughs> Fair enough. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. I would like to know that uh, these days the cars have daytime running lights on them. So, is there an actual purpose of it or is it just for the aesthetic appeal? It is both. It's, 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 uh, um, in Europe, it's um, a legal thing. You have to have this daylight on. And it's for us in, this, in design, it's a very good tool to recognize a car. So every car has to have a face, face and the rear end, so that you see it. If it's foggy, or if, if, if it's at night time, if you only see the lights, you see, oh, wow, this, this is a Volkswagen. Or if you have something like this, this is an Audi. So on the Skoda, we have two things like this. So if you, this light design is very important, like I mentioned before. You, it's for the safety, so that you see the car at, day, at daytime. It's very important now that every car at daytime is driving with light. And it's also a design issue to recognize the car and the brand. And uh, how do you come up with the name of the car? Um, we have a whole department at Volkswagen who is taking care of the names of the car. Uh, I, 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 if, if, you, if, you, if you have in mind that all the SUVs at Volkswagen starts with a T, Tuareg, uh, Tiguan, Taigun, so it's, it's, it's a sort of a name family. And it's a mixture of letters. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I wanted to ask you as a designer, when you develop a concept, and from that stage, it goes to the manufacturing, a lot of things are taken out of the car. How does the designer feel about that? Like all the research went into creating something, and the market to, like the, what reaches the market, it's like a very minimal version of that. How does the designer feel about that? Um, it's, it's not quite true. You have to be, or at least at Volkswagen, we designers are into the development process 
From the beginning to the very end, we take care of every part. You have this development process, things have to change because of legal regulation or somebody doesn't like it, as simple as that. The designer tries to take care of every detail till the very end. It's not like we do now the show car and then we are gone and somebody else is doing. We try at Volkswagen that the same designer who designs the show car is involved in the production car as well. Design is always a very good compromise of things. You have, you have to be with your idea till the very end. You are not a very good designer if you only have a nice idea for a show car and then say, okay, I leave this, some, somebody else should do it. So you should be with the design till the end. And so it's like you have to react to the things what people want and regulation, but the designer is with his product till the very end. Thank you. Okay. Sir, uh, I would like to ask another question. Uh, nowadays, a lot of cars are sharing platforms across companies, across, across brand names. Is that a um, uh, factor while designing? Do, you, do the designers know from the very beginning that this car is going to share a platform with some other existing car or is it going to be on a whole new common platform that's coming up? Of course, as a designer, you have to take care of all the technical things around you. And of course, in the Volkswagen Group, what, where we have so many brands, we have to share Plat, plat, platforms, and we know from the very beginning, you have the dimensions, the wheel size, uh, wheel base, the length, width, and height of the car, and the target is um, to create a car on the same platform for the different brands that looks different, so that you have the brand identity for every design. This is what you have to do as a designer so that the customer doesn't see that it's the same thing on, on, on the knees. But you know from the beginning that you share platforms. Okay. I would like to say thank you.